as we've in increased the levels of integration, we've increased the test problems. So now we need to work together in order to go and come up with high volume tests at low cost, test new, new types of concepts. Um, the, type, the ways we're integrating today are different. It's not just about putting everything on a single die at times. It's how you slice different parts of the system on multiple die up. The levels of interconnect are, can sometimes be truly amazing and, and, and therefore create massive test problems. Each, each step along the way, you have to work with your ecosystem partners to solve the new technologies coming forward. And that could be either be due to memory technologies, due to new classes of inter integration or interconnect. Many, many different reasons. We gotta, we gotta act as partners and work as partners. It's a challenge and it will hit us, you know, for instance, on the new uh, 5G Wi-Fi or the 802.11ac protocol that's coming out. But in that case, we work uh, closely with some of the test equipment manufacturers. So, you know, they are, they're getting prototype hardware out as we're getting prototype chips out. And we, you know, we work together to try to test those initial bring up units. And, uh, you know, our engineering team or their engineering team may, may notice issues that's in the other other person's domain and then we, we work together to solve those and identify if it's potentially our chip or potentially the test equipment. So it requires a very tight relationship I think with the test equipment manufacturers. You know, design for testability is a, you know, some design engineers they laugh about it, um, but it's actually becoming uh, probably one of the most important skills uh, we have in our design community. Um, if you don't design for test, um, you know, it may work, but you may not be able to go into high volume with it. If you can't go into high volume, it, it basically didn't work, right? So it's, it's very critical that our design engineers provide visibility hooks when needed or start working very on in, early on in the design with test engineering and test suppliers so that we ensure that we have a match when we exit. We can't exceed the data rates of their testers. We have to aggregate things down if, you know, to stay within their, within their capability. We can't exceed the pitches that can be probed. We may have to put test points down. There's lots of different techniques that can be used, but we always have to be working together to make sure that we're not exceeding each other's bounds. And in many cases, we're pulling pieces of the test program into our own silicon or into our own test software so that we can, we can get that happy medium. We work with multiple fab houses, so we have supplier diversity, and and and, and also if it you know if it, if it doesn't work with one fab, uh, hopefully another fab will solve some of the technical problems to to get our solution to market.